One of the world's top 10 natural wonders, the Great Migration. Every year, millions of gazelles, wildebeest, zebras, and other species of ungulates trek more than 500 miles to follow the seasonal rains. They find their way from the Serengeti to the Maasai Mara National Reserve, a tourist destination found in southwestern Kenya. Lush grassland, acacia woodland, magnificent plateaus and open plains make up the Maasai Mara National Reserve. It is not only home to millions of flora and fauna, but the Maasai Mara tribes people, known for their unique culture, customs, and dress. The Maasai Mara tribes people are traditionally pastoralists and rely on their lands to sustain their cattle as well as their families. Like many other locations around the world, the Maasai Mara National Reserve is under threat. Over-tourism in the area has led to the depletion of indigenous animals, degradation of the landscape, and has had negative impacts on the Maasai Mara of tribespeople. Over-tourism has become a buzzword in the last few years, and it was even a word of the year in 2018. According to Oxford Languages, over-tourism is the phenomenon whereby certain places of interest are visited by excessive numbers of tourists, causing undesirable effects for the places visited. Over-tourism has impacts on not only the environment, but on the locals at the tourist destination. Some of the negative impacts of over-tourism are air pollution, litter, decrease in the quality of life of locals, housing shortages, and food price increasing for locals. At the Maasai Mara National Reserve, ungulates, or hoofed animals, were declining in number due to human encroachment and poaching. Populations of impala, giraffes, and warthogs in the reserve declined anywhere from 67 to 80 percent. The local Maasai people were relocated to other lands and over the last few decades have had to fight for rights to their ancestral lands. To build a more sustainable and eco-friendlier situa situation, the government, businesses, and the local Maasai Mara tribespeople have banded together. Low-impact camps are offered to guests, with each camp containing a maximum of 12 tents. Each tent funds the protection of 700 acres of habitat. Maasai Mara people have been given portions of their land back. 95% of the staff at the low impact camps are from local Maasai communities. In 2018, the Maasai were expected to receive over $1.5 million from the conservancies with more than 1,000 families receiving monthly payments. Many steps have been taken to retain the flora, fauna, and the culture of the Maasai Mara National Reserve. But like many other destinations around the world, more steps must be taken to preserve the beauty for generations to come.